Hello everyone and welcome back to Gloucester Golf Club. I'm on the 10th, it's the longest par 4, it's stroke index 2 and it is worth absolutely every inch of that stroke index. It's a dog leg left, the fairway slopes hard to the right, the line is out here towards this tree if you can, so I always try and hit a draw with a three wood. Now the ball's going to come down the slope and you do want it to come down the slope. You do not want to be stuck up the hill here, otherwise the uh, second shot is just simply impossible. So a little draw, let's see if we can get to the bottom of the hill nice and safe. Right then, the hardest tee shot on the golf course. Here we go. I take a three wood because I don't want to run out of space and it's easier to turn over. And I have chopped down on that so much. That is OB and a reload. Let's try this again. Well, it's better, but it's not exactly what I want. Well, I got down to the flat and I'm in the rough. Flag is all the way at the back. So I'm quite happy that this is going to come out with no spin and get to the back of the green. Now, if I hit driver, I get tucked up underneath that oak tree. So that's why I hit three wood down there. Sure enough, made it all the way to the back of the green. Well, off the green. But that's fine. Well, that was a little bit over-enthusiastic. Oh my, that only just snuck in. Well, this is the 11th. It used to be the 12th. No point showing you the 11th hole as was. It's overgrown now. It's gone, so let's forget about it. This is 186 yards up this steep hill and it plays about three clubs longer, so it plays about 210. That's the competition tee on the right over here. The tee of the day is up this bank here, so we've got a little bit of a head start. Going with the hybrid here, not so much for the length, but for the height. You need height on your ball to get up this hill. And I've hit a low Pulled driller. Oh dear. Now this green is normally fast enough that this back left hand corner, the ball would have rolled back 12 feet underneath its own weight. On the other hand, because it's green's maintenance week, this isn't so fast. So it's easier to get this to stop somewhere near the, near the hole. Thank goodness for that. This green is incredibly difficult. I wish it was uh, at normal speed and then I could have shown you how incredibly difficult it is. Right, so this is the new hole, or rather the old hole, which has been cut in two. Can't see the green from here, so I'm going to treat this tee shot just as I would the old horseshoe par 5 and drive out well to the left. So then I got a view down the next part of the hole. Out of bounds all the way down the right hand side of this hole and I've uh, hit many a ball over there in my uh, 20 odd years I was a member here. Just going up the bank up the left hand side with the driver with a tiny vein. And that's that. Look how far I am aiming left here to allow for the ball below my feet. This ball will come out right and it will fade to the right. You can't fight it, you've just got to accept it and aim accordingly. And it was absolutely perfect. Perfect!
This is the second half of the par 5 as was. I'd normally have a gap wedge if I was playing it as the old par 5. Today it's just a pitching wedge because the tee of the day is a long way forward, right up behind the ladies. I should normally be playing an extra couple of clubs into this green from the uh, from the tee box. Just electing to putt this, I don't normally putt from the side of the green, I prefer to chip. But when it's hollow timed you can get some weird bumps and jumps. A really tight par 5 this. I've hit everything from 4-iron to driver off this tee, depending on what I want to do on the day. Today I'm going with the hybrid. And I'll show you that you don't need a driver on a par 5. Right, well I've missed all of the out of bounds. Just come up here on the right edge of the fairway. Down this side is where you simply cannot go. Down this steep bank. And if you hit driver and you come down the steep bank, then you're down here, trying to get over that. And if you cut your driver, there's all the out of bounds. It just ain't worth the candle. It's stroke six. Most of us in the, on the planet get a shot here. Some get two shots, so... You know, I haven't come very far from that tee box up to here, but I'm here for one and safe. I got 77 up the hill, balls above my feet. I've got to watch for the pull here, so I will be guarding against the pull. I'm going with a 50 degree because my sand wedge just isn't going to reach. <laughs> a birdie on a par five and not a driver in sight. I got a little treat for Terminator Golf next. So um, I'm just going to walk up there. So then, this for Terminator Golf. We're on the competition tee on 15. Now you like the downhill 18th at Lillybrook. I think you'll like this one too. Can't remember how far this drops to the fairway. Your line as you draw the ball is going to be over the top of these trees. The prevailing wind is this way. Now the trouble with a downhill hole is the hang time. So if you make a mistake, if you make a mistake, if you pull it and you think, oh, it's going at the left edge of the fairway, by the time it's actually found the ground, it's in the trees on the left. Equally, if you block it, there's more trees down the right. Now, just to be sure, this is the end tree. Then it drops down to the fairway. 
but there are more trees beyond that. And the green slopes right to left. So if you block it right, then you're coming over the bunker out of the rough with no spin to a green that runs away from you. So you do have to hit this fairway. Let's give it a go. Listen up. Give me a go, no go for launch. Booster. Go. Retro. Go. Vital. We're go fly. Guidance. Guidance go. Surgeon. Go flight. Ecom. We're go flight. GNC. We're go. Tell me. Go. Control. Go flight. Procedures. Go. Inco. Go. FAO. We are go. Network. Go. Recovery. Go. Capcom. We're go flight. Launch control, this is Houston, we are go for launch. Well, I got the drive correct. Just got 66 with the sand wedge. The wind's off the right. The green slopes from right to left, so I'm aiming well right with this. Unfortunately, I've come over the top and chunked it. Still got a decent length putt for a bird. Yeah, Simon, you've got to hit him, mate. Sixteen, man-made. You can see a, there's a trench either side of the green there. The green slope's left to right, the wind is left to right. So I'm just trying to fade with a 9-iron. But I hit it dead straight, which is um, quite disappointing. This used to be one of my favourite shots. And I've left myself probably the most awkward putt on the green. However... Green's maintenance saves me from running away again. So easy to go five or six, six feet past this flag. It is so difficult put into this front, front right hand corner. Right, 265 following the fairway. You can hit a six or a seven iron towards the fairway bunker if you like. Or in a straight line, it's about 245. And it looks to me like I'm not aiming in the right way. Yeah, that's not quite the right direction. But over the top of all the OB, leave myself about a 30 yard pitch. Really good chance for a bird. Let's see how I get on. Well, the gamble didn't pay off on 17. We didn't get the birdie. My little pitch was just too firm, but we didn't get a bogey. We didn't lose a ball. We didn't go out of bounds. So there's always positives. Now, hands up anybody who enjoys a downhill golf hole. Did you enjoy 15? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is the 18th. We're on the competition tee. It's 420 yards and it goes all the way down there. Now in the summer, when that fairway is baked, you can reach the bottom. If you go left, you'll get held up in the rough. If you go right, you'll get held up in the rough. If you go the right side of the fairway, there's a few bumps that'll stop you getting to the bottom. There's a bit of a shelf there. But if you can just go left of center, there's a speed slot there that will take you to the bottom, all 420 yards. And before you think you need to lace a driver off here, you don't. My mate Tom used it a four iron off here 
and if the fairway was firm enough and he found exactly the right channel he would reach the bottom with his forearm or nearly the bottom right we need to go down to the tee of the day we're not teeing off from the competition tee naturally now this tee is a narrow shelf so it's going to be awkward putting the camera I think it's going to be right down on the floor but uh, we'll see what we can do yeah not much room on this shelf for the camera wind is off the right so I'm aiming down the right and I'm going to turn it over and that is absolutely perfect slightly turned over it's down the left half of the fairway that is in the speed slot so I've got the speed slot absolutely perfect I've got 38 to the middle of the green so that was a 346 yard drive yay for short asses you can hit any club you like from here you can go with a putter you can go with a seven iron you can go with a five iron i'm choosing the pitch and wedge i prefer to get rid of the foreground and to actually land on the green the flag's back right so i've got plenty of space assuming i don't chuff it like i did on the ninth Well, as you can see, this is the middle of September and uh, in this county, all the golf courses are doing their greens maintenance. So they're all hollow and sandy and a little bit bumpy. I hope you've enjoyed your trip around my old golf course as much as I have, uh, despite the tee shot on 10. I hope you've enjoyed the views. And um, believe it or not, I'm back again tomorrow. <laughs>